Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent. In this video clip I want to show you how the plant hormone auxin can stimulate gene activation. Now usually in an auxin regulated uh, gene system we have an auxin dependent promoter which is in front of the auxin regulated gene. In the absence of auxin, uh, an auxin-activated transcription factor binds to what is called an inhibitory auxin IAA protein. And because this transcription factor binds very tightly to this inhibitor, the transcription factor cannot interact with the promoter and thus stimulate the transcription of the gene. What happens in the presence of auxin? So we've got auxin here, that's our little blob. Auxin interacts with the transport inhibitor response 1 protein, also tier 1 protein, and stimulates tier 1 to interact with this inhibitory auxin IAA protein that has the transcription factor bound. In fact, TER1 is part of the ubiquiti ubiquitinylation process and it tags the inhibitory aux IAA protein for degradation. So, this protein will be degraded by the proteasome thus releasing the auxin-activated transcription factor. And this transcription factor, which is no longer bound to this inhibitory protein, can now bind to the promoter and start the transcription of the auxin-regulated gene. So in summary, what we see is that the auxin-regulated gene, in the first place, is deregulated or stopped from expression by the inhibitory auxin IAA protein which binds the transcription factor. But in the presence of auxin we destroy the inhibitory uh, protein and thus release the transcription factor which can interact with the auxin regulated gene promoter. So if you like what we have here is a double negative inhibition of the inhibitory protein and we all know that a double negative means positive, so minus times minus is plus, and that is how auxin has a direct effect on auxin-regulated genes. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.